Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Very excited for this video because I'm gonna be showing you what I've been eating uh, for this month as I do my alternate day fasting where I'm doing keto, carnivore, keto, carnivore and just switching it between the two. If you haven't done so already, please do me a favor by subscribing to my channel and joining my YouTube family. I would love to have you a part of my journey. This channel is uh, my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds for my highest weight of 374 and figuring out how to overcome this addiction, how to reach my goal, not only on the scale, but just to live a healthy lifestyle and have a good relationship with food. I do keto and intermittent fasting, and I started this channel uh, when I was 291 pounds, and I have lost a total of 68 pounds uh, in the last 50 weeks, 151 pounds from my highest weight. So I only have 49 pounds to go. So I posted a video last week showing you guys what 150 pound weight loss truly looks like and I was very vulnerable and <laughs> showed you my body and my excess skin and what it really looks like to lose that much weight and I just want to say thank you thank you so much because I got so much support I got so many nice beautiful comments from you guys and I just want you to know that you know putting myself out there and being very real like that, it's not easy to do. And the support and feedback that I got from you guys was truly amazing. So from the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to say thank you. All right guys, let's just get into the video. I did only five days because I didn't want this video to be super long. So I do plan on uh, making another video with different meals to give you guys some different ideas on what to eat. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so day one is a carnivore day and I do intermittent fasting. So I fasted till about 12.30 p.m. I had my skinny brew coffee for breakfast like I always do. I talk about this coffee all the time because it's amazing. It's a French roast coffee, it's instant and I drink it iced, but you can have it hot as well. Um, but that link is in the description if you do wanna check it out. But I start my morning with that uh, every single morning and has twice the amount of caffeine than a normal cup of coffee. So it basically helps me keep up with my kids. <laughs> so I definitely swear by it, love it, and I just love the taste. It's just super yummy. I add unsweetened vanilla almond milk to it and French vanilla nut pods, which I do get on Amazon. That is below as well. So for lunch, I had my favorite chaffle sandwich, an egg chaffle sandwich. I leave my eggs a little runny and I have a piece of American cheese with it. And it's just my go-to sandwich, especially when I'm doing the egg fast. I have that sandwich a lot. If you've seen any of my egg fast videos, then you know. <laughs> For snacks, I had uh, some pepperoni slices and a mozzarella cheese stick. And I eat three small meals uh, within my eating window, but I do call it a snack, but it sort of is like a second meal. But that was sort of like a snack. It was pepperoni and some cheese. For dinner, I made chicken drumsticks in the air fryer. This is another one of my favorites to make because I love uh, chicken drumsticks cooked in the air fryer. It just makes them really crispy. And I season it with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and this time I put Put chili powder on it so it was uh very tasty didn't have any veggies with it because i was carnivore so it's actually day two right now but i didn't film yesterday uh for what i ate so yeah let's get into day two All right, so day two uh, this morning, I started with my Skinny Brew coffee, of course, and I actually ate a lot today. I feel like I ate a lot today, and I really think it was stress eating. My kids, really, I should say Ozzy, my lovely four-year-old, he was really testing my patience today. So I feel like I just kind of ate a lot. It's a keto day, so it's not as strict, uh, and I, I kind of took advantage of that today. <laughs> So for lunch, I had a turkey sandwich. This is like one of my favorite sandwiches recently. I was, I've been obsessed with chaffles, but now it's kind of been my turkey sandwiches. And I use uh, Joseph's Lavish Bread. It tastes really good and it has six net carbs uh, for half of a slice. And I only use half because they're really big. You can also make chips with this Lavish Bread. My mom uh, used to do it all the time. You can just uh, rip them apart and you know, little pieces. You can season 
season it with uh, popcorn seasoning and there's all kinds of different flavors that you can use and uh, yeah I haven't I, I've done that before but I haven't done it in a really long time so maybe I'll do that again and I'll show you guys uh, how to make little chips out of these and they taste really good I'll find out from my mom exactly what I need to do to do that in my sandwich I have uh, shaved turkey breast a mayonnaise um, Dijon mustard a piece of American cheese and I put romaine lettuce and it just tastes so good <laughs> and after coming off a strict carnivore day i just love having more you know like like i said like I, I i look forward to my keto days i look forward to eating good foods and so i also was hungry after that uh wrap i feel like i needed more so i had some leftover cauliflower rice chicken soup that i made the other night the soup is so good my kids absolutely love it and they have no idea they're eating cauliflower rice they just think it's chicken and rice soup really really good i'm gonna put the recipe for the soup in the description but I had just like a cup of that along with my wrap for lunch really really yummy and then I got hungry a couple hours later and I had a p3 protein pack which is uh, the turkey uh, Colby Jack cheese and almonds my favorite little snack I can't refuse this snack I seriously can't it is really hard for me to feed this to my kids and not pick at it so especially when I'm doing carnivore or I'm doing uh, really like the egg fast because then I can only have the cheese part of it. Uh, it's really hard for me to give it to my kids and not be able to eat it because it is one of my absolute favorites. And it is a dirty keto food uh, because it's not the cleanest ingredients. And if I have too much of it, I notice a stall in my weight loss or even possibly a gain. And I think maybe it's the sodium. My body does not react well to sodium at all or too much sodium, I should say. And then I had, I feel like I ate a little bit too much of that. I had another snack. I don't remember the other snack that I had and I yeah, once I remember it, I'll put the clip in here. All right, so I just showed up at my mom's house to pick her up. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Was I centered? Sort of. Okay. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> and looked on my camera and apparently I didn't have another snack uh, and I thought I did and I think it's because I had the chicken soup with my turkey wrap for lunch which is more than I usually have but I did have my slimming gummies and I did not mention that they are one of my products and they have apple cider vinegar and blood orange extract and they're so good they taste like fruit snacks makes me feel like I am eating fruit snacks and I absolutely love them they are below if you want to check those out too and so for dinner I'm gonna pick up a rotisserie chicken at the store I'm on my way now and I'm gonna cook up some zucchini I'm gonna saute it in olive oil and that's gonna be dinner tonight so that is it for my keto day I'll catch you tomorrow for carnivore all right guys so day three which is a carnivore day had my skinny brew this morning for breakfast and then i ate uh, lunch a little earlier today so it was 10 30 a.m so i only fasted for 16 hours i kind of um alternate between 16 and 18 hours with my fast i just kind of listen to my body if i'm hungry i eat uh, but i do at least 16 hours most of the time so for lunch i had cheesy scrambled eggs i mixed together uh two eggs with mozzarella cheese i don't add anything else to it and then i scrambled them up and then right before they were done i added some jimmy dean um, sausage crumbles and it was really really good <laughs> the twins actually wanted to eat mine so i had to make more so that they could have some too because yeah it's just yummy. For my second meal, I had uh, leftover chicken drumsticks that I made in the air fryer uh, a couple days ago. So I had the last two of those and I also had two slices of sharp cheddar cheese. And oh, and I did have a few slices of pepperoni as well. And then for dinner, I believe we're just having steak. If that changes, I will let you know, uh, but I'm not gonna have any veggies with it, just the steak tonight. And that will be my carnivore day. Oh, and I also have another Skinny Brew coffee. I do that every single day, and I didn't mention it the last two days, but I have a Skinny Brew in the afternoon as well. Oh, and my Slimming Gummies as well. I keep forgetting everything. All right, guys, so day four, which is a keto day. Let's get into it. So Skinny Brew for breakfast, of course. And for lunch, I ate around 11.30 this morning. So I fasted for 17 hours and I had a delicious salad, a Caesar salad. So I just put uh, a bunch of romaine lettuce in a bowl. I have uh, Purdue chicken, grilled chicken breast and shredded Parmesan cheese and Ken's creamy Caesar 
salad dressing, which is only one carb for two tablespoons. It was so yummy. It tasted just like something that I would get at a restaurant. So I'm definitely gonna be making that salad again. Love my keto days. <laughs> So for my snacks or my second meal, whatever you wanna call it, I did have a P3 protein pack, another P3 protein pack, which is the turkey Colby Jack cheese and almonds. I also had a piece of sharp cheddar cheese and a mozzarella stick. So lots of cheese today. And then for dinner, we are having keto chicken Alfredo cauliflower casserole. I've made this like four times and it is so freaking good. It is one of my favorite keto meals. I actually made the Alfredo sauce ahead of time. So what made the process go a lot faster tonight, uh, but it's done and we're about to eat it. I'll put a clip in here of my plate or my bowl when I'm about to eat it. It's just really good. It's cheesy and it's just, I love cauliflower and I love Alfredo sauce and it's a keto Alfredo sauce so everything is keto approved. I'm going to put the link in the description if you guys want to make it and if you want to see me actually uh, make the dish and show you step by step how I do it or how the recipe tells you to do it let me know and I will make a separate video on that if you guys do want to try this dish but seriously you should because it's really really good. So that is it. That's it for my day four and I will film another one tomorrow. I feel like I'm singing with everything that I'm saying. Okay, bye. All right guys, so day five recap. It was a carnivore day, ending the video with day five. So for breakfast, skinny brew coffee, of course. And then for lunch, I ate about 12 o'clock p.m. And I had tuna. So I had a can of tuna. The best is Starkist solid in water, in my opinion. And then for my second meal, which really wasn't a second meal, I just had a few uh, slices of pepperoni and a mozzarella cheese stick. I wasn't really super hungry today. And then for dinner, I just had rotisserie chicken. So it was a very simple carnivore day because that's what carnivore is, very, very simple. So yeah, that's it. All right guys, there it is. Five days of my alternate day fasting for last week. I will be making another video, so stay tuned. Uh, make sure to turn that bell on for notifications if you haven't done so already, so you know when I upload videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions or you just wanna reach out to someone who has pretty much been through it all, never hesitate to reach out to me. Also join my support group on Facebook called The Shrinkables. Would love to have you a part of our community and as always I have down in the description box below some tools that can help you get started on your keto journey and also um, items and products that I personally use and love that I want to share with you all right guys I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you at the next video bye guys so I posted a video last week showing my excess skin uh, in what 150 oh my gosh so I posted a video last week show I did five days because I didn't want this video to be... I don't know what that was. Oh my gosh. What did I have? That's today. What did I have? I have no idea. I have no memory. What did I have for a snack? I can't remember. What did I have for a snack? Gonna set the A's.